Five Nights at Freddy's is not an SCP. But if it were, how would the SCP Foundation contain it? Due to the extensive lore of the franchise, we will be focusing on the first game for today, and save the rest of the games, the books, the future film, etc. for later installments. Upon hearing about the anomalous animatronics, the Foundation would purchase Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. After shutting it down under the guise of a health code violation, a provisional site would be set up around the restaurant. During the day shift, researchers would run experiments on the animatronics, diagnostics on their programming, assembling and disassembling the endoskeletons. Perhaps with some luck, our researchers would successfully discover Remnant far sooner than it was revealed in the lore. At night, we are faced with two possibilities. If the animatronics are happy to simply stay in the restaurant at night when it is empty, success! No more containment procedures necessary. However, I'd wager that there's a reason in the original game that there had to be a night guard, such as the animatronics attempting to leave if nobody was in the restaurant. If that's the case, the role of night guard would be filled with a D-class, one with a history of child abuse if the animatronics are particularly picky. If the D-class is adept enough to survive the night, good for them. If not, we've always got more disposable, <laughs> I mean, D-class personnel. And what about Golden Freddy? If it's content to stay in the restaurant as the other animatronics are, I don't see any issue. But if it decides to get feisty and attempts to strike out on its own, well, let's just say that we've got teams that can bust ghosts with the best of them. Make sure to like and share this video, comment any creatures you would like to see containment procedures implemented for, and remember that patrons of Site42 get priority on their Conprox requests. Secure. Contain. Protect.